Welcome to this edition of MB Reporter. Welcome to wonderful German December weather. Today I have a question for the real experts amongst you. When would you say was the first Mercedes electric car on the roads? The 80s, the 90s, you would be wrong. It was 1906 and this is it. The Mercedes Classic with 10 horsepower, 20 kilometers per hour maximum speed and a range of 75 kilometers. Well, of course, today the data of a Mercedes-Benz electric car like the A-Class E-Cell is slightly different. Namely, 95 horsepower peak output, 150 kilometers per hour maximum speed and a range of up to 250 kilometers or 150 miles, as product manager Stefan Penschuk specifies. The special thing of the A-Class E-Cell is it's not a compromised car. If you take a look in the car, it's a full five-seater and you don't have any compromises when it comes to the interior volume or the trunk volume. So it's a full family vehicle or full usable vehicle like any normal A-Class. This is the place where we store the charging cable. Mm -hmm. What you see right here is a normal household socket cable where you can plug this in any household socket and recharge the car. Okay, and this is the side where I connect the car? Correct, yes. All right. So let's go? Go! For those of you who have never driven an electric car, let me explain you one very basic advantage. An electric engine has its full torque from the very first moment, unlike a combustion engine. So this means you don't need a gear shift and a car like the A-Class E-Cell has a real good acceleration. Yeah. yeah. But also, you should get used to a different driving style, isn't it, Stefan? Totally correct, Chris. The main difference compared to a normal combustion engine is that you can regenerate energy when stepping off the gas. Mm. So don't use the brake too often. Just put your foot off the gas and the energy is coming back into the battery, giving you more range. Which I can clearly see here on the display. On the display it's indicated whether energy is taken off the battery, so if you're accelerating, or if energy is taken back into the battery, as we see right here when recuperation is on. We are going downhill now. I stay within the traffic flow, but I get back energy to my battery. The most important thing is that we'd like to develop a car which is so similar to the normal combustion engine car that there is not a big difference and that you feel welcome at home also in your zero emission vehicle. Though it's the first battery electric vehicle of Mercedes-Benz, of course also this vehicle has to fulfill all the service and security requirements of Mercedes-Benz like every other uh, normal combustion engine car. Stefan guides me to a charging point at the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart. These stations are not simply just for charging. They communicate with the vehicle. Okay, here we are. And this means, for example, recharging can be set to take place at times when electricity is cheaper. And the billing can be done automatically when you have a contract, just by plugging in. Wow, even I can do this. What you have done here is you plugged in the vehicle for a high voltage charging. So charging with high voltage is faster charging. This means, at a station like this, it takes only around three hours to accumulate the energy you need for a 100 km or 60 miles drive. More than enough for most of the people to drive home from work and back the next morning. And in case you need to know how far you could go right now, you don't have to leave your desk. Just check your smartphone, as the service homepage continuously displays the state of charge. But I'm afraid, as confused as I am, sometimes I would get back to the car standing here in this parking garage and tear it out because I just would go and forgot it's charged. So don't worry, Chris, um, because this car has a special security feature within and it won't start 
if it's plugged in. By the way, the 1906 Mercedes Electric I have mentioned at the beginning of this report was even part of the royal fleet of the Austrian Emperor back these days. Of course, then combustion engines took over for many decades. But in these environmental conscious days, electric cars like the A-Class E-Cell become truly royal means of transport again. So, see you on the road, emission free. <laughs>